Welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Trooper, Burning Dog fans. We've got more information in the New Earth Encyclopedia. Let's take a look. Colonel Covert. A high-ranking Souther colonel and military intelligence strategist, determined to win the war for the Southers regardless of the cost in human lives. What a butt munch. Grand Admiral Hoffa. A high-ranking Nordland officer, rumored to be very friendly with a certain female naval captain. Oh dear. Uh, Grand Admiral Hoffa has the power to direct assaults anywhere on New Earth. Last reported location? Somewhere in the New Paris Battle Sector. Hmm. See, I like the idea that this is a faithful recreation of a comic book that I've got no experience with. Or this is you know somebody somebody's uh, personal equivalent of the uh, experience I had with Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, Captain Natashov. For her age, Captain Natashov is very high ranking with full command of a Northern warship. Her ambition is outstripped only by her fondness for inflicting pain and torture. She is wanted for war crimes committed against Souther prisoners of war. Still no explanation how she breathes the atmosphere though. Even this looks more professional than the ridiculously, ridiculously tarted up appearance she had in the game. Traitor General, with no name. A high-ranking Souther officer, the man responsible for the Gordstone Massacre and the destruction of the GIs. Although rumors have persisted for years about a traitor in Millicom Command, there's never been any proof he actually exists. Find him and do what you have to do to make him pay for the deaths of your buddies. Venus Blue Jeans. That's terrible. That sounds like a porn star's name. One of the so-called GI dolls, she escaped the usual fate of female GIs and became a specialist in stealth, recon, and assassination missions. I don't think I want to know what the usual fate of female GIs is. Close combat skills are a given trait for all GIs, but in testing, Venus is also one of the also has one of the highest sharpshooter skills uh, scores ever recorded. What a sniper rifle in her hands, that she becomes one of the most lethal weapons of war on the surface of New Earth. They actually made it look more intimidating in game. Interesting. It's a deviation I can approve of, but then again, you know, maybe I would be real upset if I was a fan of the comic. Chow is a good name. A oh, good sound effect. I like that. Deploy hoppers. Okay. The main craft removing troops into battle zones. Fast flying with hover abilities. Four troops can be quickly deployed as the Hoppa itself provides covering fire, then dusts off to restock. Ah, delicious. Sorry, it was really dry today. Drill probes! Oh yes, we've already seen these. I wonder if that's supposed to be Bagman's death. So I was supposed to be able to fire these at one point in development. I like that. Or maybe that's just a size comparison. Nort Heavy Support Armor. Larger than the NTA unit, the, NS the NHSA is still controlled by a Nort, but he is housed completely inside the armored shell. Equipped with a machine gun for close range attack and a missile launcher for distant uh, threats, these units scare even their own side. Patrol boats. Water based assault craft with high powered engines and heavy hull armor to combat the effects of New Earth sea pollution. Used to harass other slower moving vessels. Their attack pattern is based around circling their prey while bombarding them with shots from their deck cannons. 
For the crews of these Nord vessels, there is no sweeter sound than the screams and enemy sailors that leave behind to drown in the acidic seawaters of New Earth. It's a whole race of tools, I tell you. Traitors Hoppa. Oh, okay. Generally, people in high command stay, stay sat on a comfortable chair as far away from battle as, as communications lines allow, but when they do stray out, they make sure they're as well protected as possible. With heavy armor plates and weapons attached to anything that'll hold them, this behemoth should scare uh, anyone off thinking about shooting it and its freshest passenger down. I don't... that's not... that's really bad grammar. Uh... Base Commander. With New Earth having been at war for so long, it's common to find sections of the armies bedded in and effectively forming their own private army. This old crash Sother satellite is a perfect example of this. While the base commander does report back to the Nordland Higher Command, he only does so when there is a profit to be made from it. Well then I'm glad I shot him in the face. EMP Troops Electronic warfare specialists armed with electromagnetic pulse emitters. These weapons are harmless against humans, but cause severe disruption to sophisticated electronic circuitry in any equipment carried by their targets. The effects may only be temporary, but that won't help you, and that won't help you much when the EMP troopers' Nort infantry buddies are closing in for the kill. Definitely not biochip friendly. Mortar troops. I've seen a few of those. Generally found at the back of enemy infantry formations, providing pinpoint covering fire. If you want to neutralize these threats, you'll have to get in close. Watch out, once you get near them, these mortars can be redeployed as direct fire weapons aimed straight at you. Nort tactical armor. Keeping in line with the Northern traditions of bigger is better, the NTA provides a Nord with an armored suit, allowing him to give heavy mobile fire support to his normal foot soldier comrades. These units provide a significant threat, but with complex hydraulic systems and a power draining weapons array, they can still be outboxed by a quick thinking, quick moving opponent. This particular art really makes it look like something out of Transformers, doesn't it? Navy Sergeant. With the chem fog not as thick and poison as out at sea, fil uh, out at sea, filters often suffice instead of the bulky breathing apparatus and inflicted upon the land-based troops. The Navy sergeants know that there are worse things in the air, though, and our equipment designed to protect them against the water if they were ever to fall in. Sailors. And the same with the horror boots, all right. Whilst the seas of New Earth are as polluted as the atmosphere, and thus deadly to almost every living thing, the air itself over the sea is often of breathable quality. This enables the sailors on both sides to dispense with chem suits and carry out their duties in normal uniform. I had wondered about that, you know, they talked about the acidic atmosphere, where these guys had their faces exposed. Shotgun troop. Oop, I missed. Snipers, then, I guess. Working independently, snipers rarely move from the position they've nested into. Camouflage keeps them hidden from view, but watch out for the telltale signs that are laser sights. Ahem. <clears throat> when overzealous recruits sign up for the Northland Army, they are embraced, clothed in bright orange, and given some decent armor and a shotgun. Then they're pointed at the enemy and told to charge. Everybody else stays out of the way to watch the carnage. Sun Legions. Hang glider assault troops swooping down to drop bombs and sow their targets. They can be shot down with a well placed standard rounds, though a flak cannon is preferable. Let's see where it loads me. I might have to do a jump cut. New Hamlin. Do you know where the harbor train is? Yes. Yeah, it's not too bad. 
If you bring the gun back online, it'll help our boys try to evacuate New Atlanta. The main route to the gun dome has been sealed. You'll have to use the access tunnel. Dicks. Wait. Hacking. This should be pretty straightforward. Green, look out! I got everybody before the uh, hacking was even done. Who's the man? Sure ain't you. Would we even lose any good guys? Need to pick me up. And this is where we left off. Uh, what, that hole in the floor? Oh, this can't end well. Bring the defense laser back online. That's a good idea. Good luck, boys. I wonder if this really was a budget game back in the day. I should look that up. I was gonna be honest, I have my suspicions. Oh, the hell with it. I am silent like the night. Hello. They generally don't. Well, I suspect in that case he suspected it was a bullet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's that? What? Oh, sir. No! There are mans to the up of me. Oh, good. What was that? Who goes there? Rogue, do something about that EMP troop! Grenade, get down! Get around here! Well, I'm not going through that again! Don't worry, it was the last time. Took the dude out. Drive up these stairs. Whoa, frame rate. Grenade. Ow. Oh, oh. Jack. Come on, we can make it to the next checkpoint. Is this the defense laser? I just want to solve it to this dude first, make sure, uh... There we go, those guys are nice, worth many dollars. Oh, there's a dude over here, I don't remember shooting- Oh, this is the guy I sniped, I think. And away he goes. This will help.
Oh. Push Buton! That should help us out there. Let's make our way down to the shoreline. We got a train to catch. If you say so. No! No! What's madness? Piss off! Reload! Hey guys, you're all dead now. Oh, damn it. Check. Ha 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 I exploded you. Reload! Grenade! I like the way the tank actually breaks. Now, there are some things I could complain about in this game, like how they, they always show the gun with the silencer off and with no uh, you know, underslung weapon in the cutscenes. But it's just little things. And this is, uh, so far, a you know, pretty decent shooter. Like, when I said in the first episode that I went into this game with no expectations, uh, that wasn't a bad thing. I just, you know, I didn't know anything about this game except, uh... Rack em and stack em. Oops, that's right, you go manually reload in this game. I don't know anything about this game except some of the premise, and, uh... I, had, I didn't know whether it was going to be any good or not. I just didn't know what to expect, you know? I kind of need to reload. Alright, that's go. good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a graf graphical error, but I'm okay with that. What's that. Maybe it looked better on the PlayStation 2 version. I don't know. What do I do? Who's there? Coming up. By the way, I thought I might as well mention uh, the Saboteur, the second game I ever LP'd, is now available on uh, Origin. EA's Steam ripoff. So if you've got, what was it, 20 bucks burning hole in your pocket, and uh, you don't mind having to get Origin to do it, you know. Oh dear. Are those reinforcements or their guys? No, those are where we are, guys. The Salter landing craft are being destroyed by those submarines! Take out the submarines! Don't think my savvies will reach. Great shot! What about using that Hellcat? You don't want to blow this one up, Magna? King.
Oh, it did work. Eat several dicks. Ha ha ha, I sunk your submarine. Take this, you commie bastards! I've got to save these asses. I do say so myself. Let's do the intro to the next level and then call it a video. <sighs> the Dix One Desert. What a stupid name. Monitoring your progress. You saved a lot of lives today, G.I. Get to the point, Colonel. You're not out of this yet, Trooper. The Nords are massing for an attack on Harper's Ferry. If you can get there on time... Um... Like you said, we're not out of this.
this yet. Get everyone forward to the front of the train. I'm picking up multiple Lord signals headed this way. They're not gonna let us go without a fight. Stamels coming in from the left. Use the mounted gun, Rogue. Don't let any get too close. Got a different one, right? Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh, in any event, I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Rogue Trooper. When we try to defend this train. Uh. Later! <laughs>